Ohio State and Towson make it to this region with easy travel. Oh, yeah. so, when you're looking back and, and you just see that, you know, they haven't made it in 21 years and it's 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 a great feeling to have. And I think that for us, it's been a day to day process, every practice, every landing, every, you know, skill. And so the accumulation of days is what equals this huge accomplishment. And so it's kind of surreal just because you know we were so wrapped up in it but then at the same time you know hearing that at the end is is definitely a, a great feeling it's really exciting um to know that we just made history because especially this year we just didn't even know if we were going to have a season and then to make it this far and just see all of our hard work pay off and to make history just in the process like it was really cool and exciting to be a part of that for the people that have been on the team especially like Tess and the upperclassmen, I feel like it's exciting to see them be excited to make it because like we were able to help get them there. Um, but it's also just like a really proud moment for the team because we've worked so hard this year and we've had so many obstacles to overcome. Competitions like Cal and UCLA and stuff and it was just so cool to see like Towson there and like just because we did that well. Like we earned that spot next to all those teams. So that was just like really cool. Cause I feel like a lot of people haven't heard of Towson before. Well, what makes it better is like, we don't only belong there. We are locked in. We don't, we don't have to compete the first round. Like we are in regionals. So just to see your name pop up, like I think we were both, we popped up before UCLA. So it was just cool to see like, wow, we're gonna be competing against them. We, we are, we are against them. Like that's what it is. It doesn't, there's no, there's no play in, we, we did it. I don't, it's more, it's not even shock. I feel like we should have been here. Just take it day by day, practice by practice, and just really get up, do our job, do our routines, get in the gym, get out of the gym. We are probably the one team in the country that has had as many meets as we, like we've done more meets than everybody. So at this point, like we've done all the work, we've, we've killed it, now it's just time to have fun. I think I think the gym in the next few weeks will be just fun, bubbly, like, let's go, get in, get out. You know, this year, every year is full of moments, but uh, this year especially, we just had this gratefulness with the team that every meet we were grateful to do. Every, every time we stepped on the competition floor, you know, I had scheduled a jam-packed schedule for the girls because I was thinking that at least three to four meets were going to be canceled this year due to COVID and not one of our meets was canceled. So we ended up having three double weekends in a row, which is insane. Any athlete would tell you that's absolutely insane. I mean, there were there were times leading up to those double weekends that we were just doing practice as mental routines. They weren't actually doing any gymnastics at all. Um, so they definitely hung in there. And I think that, you know, just going to regionals and knowing that it is a moment to take in. It's a history-making moment and to just enjoy it